how thought is relates to our circumstances, meaning how thought relates to our 3D world, what's basically coming in our 3D world, what's manifesting to us. And it's manifesting to us because we brought it to us. Okay. And that, that's the that's the thing we have to kind of come to terms with is that if we don't like something manifesting in the world, we don't like something constantly coming to us, we've created that. And and that's a very hard concept to get. Okay, it really is. That's a really hard to get because people what people love to do is they, they love to try to to come up with an, a really severe example to, to kind of disprove it or a really severe negative example to say what well, you mean I manif manifested this <laughs> you, you know what I mean um, so you know but it's really coming from remember manifesting works from within out okay it doesn't work from the outside in we're living in reverse of the law most of us live from the outside in but every everything's coming everything coming in your 3d world is coming from inside out it's coming from your deep rooted beliefs and it's coming from your deep rooted thoughts it's coming from the secret thoughts you say because all of us talk to ourselves all of, all of us talk secretly in our mind our mind is constantly going your mind isn't just stagnant with no thoughts your mind are constantly going and most of the time we're constantly thinking about negative. You now, even researchers now, psychologists agree that we have about anywhere from 65,000 to 70,000 thoughts per day. I don't know how they know this, but 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 this is research. But out of the, those 65,000 to 70,000 thoughts that we have per day, 70% of those thoughts are negative and redundant. What does that mean? Well, 70% of my thoughts are negative and I fester on it. I fester on the same thoughts over and over and over and over and over. And once you become aware of this, you will find yourself in this trap. you will find yourself in this cycle where all through the day, you basically just bounce back and forth between five, six, seven negative thoughts. And that's all you really think about all day long. But what you're doing is bouncing back and forth. You know, you don't stay on one thing, but you bounce back and forth all day long. But but all day long, it's you're on this negative cycle that you just fester on it, which is the law of karma. Okay, and what what we have to understand that's what we're attracting to our lives. Those are our secret thoughts. Lot lots of times, our secret thoughts we don't tell anybody. It's just that that's what that's what we're just constantly thinking about. So that's what's actually it's coming from within out. That's what's actually manifesting in our three D world. How is it manifesting? Why is it manifesting? Because one of the things you need to do is go through, I did a series on working with the law by Raymond Hallowell, is that you need to, you, you need to understand universal law. Universal law doesn't discriminate. It doesn't play favorites. It is what it is. Your subconscious mind is what it is. Your subconscious mind isn't a comedian. It doesn't take jokes. Okay, so it's just giving you whatever you're giving it. And when, when you're constantly festering on negative and you're bringing emotion to it, your subconscious mind just takes it as this. Your subconscious mind just says, well, you must like this because you're constantly thinking about it and you're bringing emotion to it. So I'm going to bring you more of it. How does it bring you more of it? It brings it into your 3D world. It manifests it into your 3D world. That, that's why James Allen is saying that you know, we have to guard our thoughts. So, other than that, my friends, thanks for listening. Make sure you comment below if you have any questions on this. Remember, I love you guys. 